right. Okay, so when you first open the app, the first thing that will pop up is the big sign saying, Welcome to VetCheck. And VetCheck is the name that I give this app because it represents, to me, it represents how the app will keep your pest records in check. And also, you will see a very nice, friendly picture of a golden retriever smiling at you. I mean, who doesn't love that? And yeah, that's basically the whole front page. I try to keep it as user friendly and as easy to navigate as possible. And then uh, you should slide down and click on the login button, and the login page should pop up. And here you just type in your username and whatnot. Here I'm just typing in my name, and of course, iPhone never thinks my name's a real name, but that's okay. And for the password, I'm just gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just simply log in. And uh, after you log in, if you're a first time user, then the pet profile page will pop up asking to start putting in the basic records for your pet. And here you can see it will just ask you to put in the name, age, breed, color, where you actually obtained the, your pet from, and if he or she is spayed or neutered yet. Again, just the basic information, uh, nothing more than that. And this is just very basic. And you click on next. Um, the prescribed medication page will pop up. This will just keep track for you what the current medication that your pet is on. You can put in two medications at the same time. Um, unfortunately, the app builder only lets me to code four spots for two medications, but you just get the idea. Uh, going back, it should ask you to put in the name of medication, the dosage, the frequency, just in case you forgot when to um, give the medication, and so forth. And there will be a sought and then the purpose. And then next, it will ask you to put the other medication spot where you can put in when was the last time you gave your dog's heartworm prevention or medication, and what's the next anticipated date. And there will be a spot for any additional med medications or remedies that your dog might be on that might affect the medical decisions if you take your dog, if you ever take your dog to get surgeries, and so on. We, moving on, um, it's the medical history panel. It will ask you to record the, your pet's previous medical conditions, current medical conditions, uh, and when was the last time your pet had a heartworm test, a dental cleaning, <coughs> a dental exam slash cleaning, and if your dog is dewormed or not. And you can also put the dates in there. And then you sh it just I will try to make your more per as personal as possible. And next, you'll come into across the vaccine page. I've listed here pretty much all the vaccines that your dog can possibly get. But of course, they're not all mandatory for all dogs. Here you can just put in yes or no. And um, if yes, when was the date that you got the vaccine? And going on, you will, you will see the allergy section. You can put here any allergies to medications, uh, food, and environmental factors and here you can place the names how severe the allergy is and approximately when did it start and also you should also put in um, how does that affect any medical treatments that your dog should get in the future and next the last slide you should come across should be the physical exam section. This section is meant to be updated each time that your dog gets a new exam. You'll, you'll be asked to put in the date, hydration status, status posture and gait, respiratory rate, heart slash um, pulse rate, uh, the, the conditions of the head, the limbs, abdomen, and genitalia. You could acquire all this information from your, uh, from your family veterinarian. Just so you could be, just so you can stay up to date of <coughs> the wellness of your pet. Now I'll click on the finish button, and yay! Congratulations, your pet is now registered. All the information you put in will go to an online da database, which allows you to pull up the record quickly, and of course, the information you put in is, um, is secured. And that is the end of the walkthrough. Uh, a video of my final product. I hope this video will give y'all an idea of what I have been working on for the past few months. I am going to continue to modify this app this summer and um, hopefully bring it out to the App Store by the end of the year. And of course, this app is just at its most basic conditions right now. And I'm I am hoping to learn some more coding skills to continue to, make to continue to make it better.
forget. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, there we go. Uh, going back. This actually concludes all the topics that I'm going to cover today. Now I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Wilkins, who very generously allowed me to hang out around the surgical center and allowed me to watch him perform surgeries all year long. I really appreciate this opportunity to learn, opportunity to learn and observe and to be in an, in, in an environment like that at such a young age. As I continue to embark on this journey of endless learning, one of the most important things that I need to constantly remind myself is to keep up with my enthusiasm for my future in order to achieve my dream. The next 10 years will definitely be difficult, but with passion and dedication, anything can be done. If there's no more questions, thank you guys so much for coming and thank you for, for listening to my speech.